Welcome to Pilates. Today we're going to do some work on the floor, particularly to open up the rib cage, help with breathing, and just give a general feeling of relaxation. So the first thing I want you to do is have a lie down. Once you're down on the mat, just find your comfortable position. And you might be feet up, you might be feet out, you might even be one foot out, one foot up, doesn't matter for now. But just find that position and just give your hips a little bit of a rock around. So if your legs extended, you can just roll backwards and forwards, give them a shimmy and a shake. If your feet are up, you can just give your hips a little bit of a raise too. Just rock them from side to side. And then I want you to come into a position, again, where you're comfortable, but with either your feet extended or your feet up, particularly if you've got a back problem. You pick whichever one it is. And when you lie on the mat, just straighten your body out from the base of your skull, all the way down to your tailbone. And just put your hands on the floor and just use that as a little bit of a lever just to stretch your body out so you can feel your spine stretched. Your legs are going to be extended, your toes are going to be pointing up towards the ceiling and we're going to hold that position with the feet. And the first thing we're going to do is put our fingertips just onto the top of our hips and we're going to rock our hips slightly from side to side And then we're going to bring it to a position where they're not rocked to the left or the right. They're nice and flat from left to right. We're going to take a big breath in. On the breath out, just draw your tummy in 30%. Scoop your tummy button down towards where your rib cage meets your spine. So it is scooping in. Nice little J shape. and keep those hips nice and flat, left to right, forwards and backwards. Just transfer your hands now so your fingertips rest on the bottom of your rib cage. So your fingertips go over about the first three ribs or so, and they're gonna rest nice and loose. Now take a breath in. And a slow breath out. And just keep repeating that. Relax your mind too. This next time, draw your breath in. As far as you can. And this time, feel how your fingertips just respond to the moment of your ribcage. As you breathe out, breathe out nice and slow but purposefully. So just give a little bit of a push out through your mouth. I'll exaggerate. Breath comes in again. When it comes in and you breathe in as far as you can, just hold it for a count of one, two and three. And very gently breathe out and breathe out over that count of three. So we're breathing out for one, for two, for three. Empty the rib cage. Take a big breath in. Now you're comfortable with the breathing and the ribcage movement, you can put your hands wherever you're comfortable. I'm just going to put them down by my side, just so you can see me. Keep breathing, but on your next breath out, I want to stop the breath a third of the way out. Then restart breathing out. Stop it again. Empty your lungs. Breathe in halfway. 
pause. Breathe in all the way. Pause. Now breathe out in short breaths. So you're going to breathe out almost like the sound of a train puffing. So it's breath in. This time, as we breathe in, we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades back and down. We're going to push slightly with our hands into the mat so we can feel our rib cage rising. And breathe out. Relax your mind all the time when you're doing this. Now your next breath in, we're going to breathe in, but I want you to imagine that your lungs go to this little bit just under your collarbone. They don't, but imagine they do, and you're going to fill up that space. And breathe out. Next movement. As we breathe in, we're going to take our hands up. Classic arm flow, this one. You can have your hands facing in towards each other or palms forward, it doesn't really matter. But from this position with hands just over chest, we're going to breathe out. Then we're going to breathe in. And on the breath out, we're going to take our hands back and try and time it so that you run out of breath when your hands are at the furthermost point. You're really stretching the rib cage open now. If you're out of breath now, it's a breath in. It's a breath out as we reach forwards and take your hands as high to the ceiling as you can. So we're rounding the rib cage now a little bit. From here, big breath in again. Breath out, hands fold down to the side. Push your fingertips out nice and long. Breath in, breath out, and this time we've got to give a big breath out. <sighs> Squeeze your tummy in a little bit. Breath in, breath out, take it down to the side. Empty off. Breathe in, push your fingertips wide. So you're now in this crucifix position. Push it wide. Control the breathing. We're going to take our hands back up to the top. Just return to normal breathing for you. A little bit of work with the tummy now. We're going to take a breath in. On the breath out, we're going to push up and we're going to look towards the ceiling. So when you look towards the ceiling, look at the space between your two hands. So it's reaching up. And now we've got a little bit of compression in the rib cage here. You can hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Breath in. Breath out as we move down. Breath in. Reset that tummy. Pull that tummy in 30%. Pelvic floor two. We're going to breathe out as we go up. Change of breathing. Breath in as we come down. Fill the lungs. Really fill them. Breath out. Two more. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. And breath out. Breath in as we come down. Draw your hands round now, just to above your head. And push your body out nice and long. So make your body as long as you possibly can without your back arching. We're going to push those fingertips, stretch the shoulders. And again, we're really stretching out the rib cage here. 
If you sit at a desk, you're likely to have a shortening as well across the front of your chest because of the position you're in bent forward. And as well, the rib cage doesn't quite expand and contract as much as it would if you were in a physical occupation. So from here, we're going to take a breath in and on the breath out, we're going to take our hands quite quickly round to our feet, push forwards. We're going to breathe in, in this awkward position, breath out, breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. Slight difference. Hands are going to come above us. Breath in. Breath out. From here, hands are going to come up nice and gently. We're going to take them forwards. Just bring one foot in, second foot in. There'll be quite a bit of tension in your legs if you've had your legs extended and locked on, which is what we're after. Now from here, we're going to take a breath in and on the breath out, we're going to go to a shoulder bridge. So just push through your heels. You can lift your toes off the floor if you want to. We're going to lift up and again, I want you to lift your rib cage up towards the ceiling. So again, we're working on rib cage expansion and you can tuck your shoulders in under the back and you'll get a really good stretch right the way across the front of your chest. If you want a bonus stretch, you can put your hands underneath and just push your hands forwards. But keep those hips nice and high. Then gently, we're going to take the hands out, roll back down to the mat. Draw one knee in, then the second knee in. Just take hold of your knees, squeeze your knees towards you. Have a little bit of a rock from side to side. Gently now we're just going to roll across. First to one side, then as steady as you can. We're going to come around to this all fours position. And we're going to do a half cat stretch. So we've got our hands forwards like Sphinx. We're going to take a breath in. Really feel that rib cage expand. We're going to breathe out. We're going to breathe in gently. But this time we're going to look underneath us. And I want you to shorten the distance between the bottom of your rib cage and the top of your hips. So Tuck your ribs under, stretch out the back. Gently down from there. As we're coming through, you can breathe in about here. We're gonna look ahead. I'm gonna lift our tailbone up and the back of our head up. Nice, easy stretch, and again, stretching all around the rib cage. From here, toes tuck under, we're going to walk back, pause for a moment. Be careful when you get off the floor after breathing exercises like that because you might just go a little bit lightheaded. So to avoid that, we're going to come back and rest. Very gently now, we're going to stand, tuck our hands in, head stays low, and at the top, we're going to stretch our shoulders back and down and really open up that rib cage. From here, just to make sure the breathing continues, we're going to take a breath in and a breath out. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. This time at the top, breath in. Lift that rib cage up. Breath out. Scoop up the air inside the rib cage. Big breath in. Push all life's negatives out. Focus on the breathing. 
Drum the negatives on the floor. Breath in, breath out. Jazz hands at the bottom. A shimmy, a shake. Give yourselves a clap. <laughs>